Joining me on Mirror now today is a very special guest. His songs are a rage, all of 26, and this singer-songwriter who sings in a dozen different languages is also the first artist to top the global billboard charts twice in a single year. He's called the pop icon for a reason, and now he features on English hit maker Ed Sheeran's 2022 single, Two Step. Arman Malik, welcome to Mirror Now. This is really, really amazing. I thank you for having me. I'm really excited to talk about the song and everything in general. Well, it is, like I said, very, very amazing. How did the collaboration happen? This is the biggest thing that we could talk about today. Well, um, Ed Sheeran and his team reached out um, to my team and my label here, Warner Music, and, um, you know, they had the song Two Step, which was on his album Equals. And they wanted an Indian artist to do a special a verse on on the song, and they identified me as the artist that they really want to go ahead with and do something with. So I was really ecstatic, and um, within a few days, actually, uh, ever since you know we heard of the opportunity, I was like, okay, I'm down for it. Obviously, who's not down to do a song with Ed Sheeran? And within two days, I received all the tracks. I laid my vocals and I sent it ahead, and here we are. Uh, you know, two weeks uh, later and we have the song out and everyone's really loving it and I'm, I'm so happy. And Arman, I was, I was kind of stalking you on social media and I believe that you kind of manifested this collaboration because you wanted it to happen and it is happening now. It has happened. So that's something that you yourself had said that you wanted to collaborate with it. Yes, um, you know, the kind of person that I am, I really believe in manifestation and, you know, dreams coming true if you really, really believe and uh, you know have faith in them um i in an interview someone had asked me who do you want to collaborate with and i said ed sheeran is one of my favorite artists and i would love to do something with him and uh, here we are a few years later and i'm doing a song with him and it's out there in the universe in the world for everyone to hear so i i do believe that dreams do come true uh, you just got to have faith in them and work really hard and uh, i i believed in my dream and um, i'm glad that it's come true Well, everybody started listening to it, but uh, we cannot actually go ahead and proceed further on this interview if we don't get you to actually sing two lines for us live on the broadcast. <laughs> Otherwise, interview will be very Okay, let's do it. Bate mujhe kuch hai kehni Roka khud ko hai Mainne kai baar ab lagta hai Bol du Jin ko bhi hai galat fahmi Chalo ni ki bhi aankhe ab Mai khol du Jo bhi mai hu Mere dham pe Hath rakha na kisi ne Mere sar pe Jeete dil mainne kaam se Jud gaye hazaro lakho fans Mere naam se Dil se jo gaya Mainne geet to hataya Mujhe un se Umaru mein hu chota Thak gaya tha sun sun ke Chal jane de na ya Mujhe mil gaya Tera pyaar So We'll go all night Two-stepping with the woman I love All my troubles turn to nothing when I'm in your eyes Electrified We'll keep turning up and go all night Beautiful, beautiful, Arman. So like I was asking you, the kind of love that you deserve, you are receiving, not just for the, this song, but your entire career is actually, uh, you know, laced with the kind of uh, fan love that you've received. But for this particular single, what do people have to say? We are living in the day and age of social media where responses are very, very instant. So what have you seen so far? Well, everyone's going berserk with the fact that they can see Ed Sheeran and Arman Malik on one track. I think that's a dream that a lot of Indians, Indian listeners, Indian artists have had for a very long time. And I'm so glad that, uh, you know, through me, this dream has come true. And I hope that more and more such collaborations happen. Um, you know, this is uh, definitely getting so much love out there on social media. A lot of people didn't expect me to do a Hindi verse uh, because I have been singing a lot of English songs in mm. the last two years. Sabne socha ki I'm going to do an English verse on this. Uh, and the whole song will be in English, but I surprised everyone by doing a Hindi verse. And what they were even more surprised with was uh, was the fact that I talked about my own journey, stuff that I've gone through as a singer, as an artist. And uh, I'm glad that I got that creative freedom from Ed and his team to, you know, pour my feelings out and my heart out there and actually uh, be really truthful and be honest about what I felt as an artist. And I think that's really beautiful. When an artist gets to speak his truth, I think it's a very powerful moment. And I'm glad I got to do that with this song. Yeah. 
with Ed Sheeran. And very interesting that you mentioned over here because when you came out with Control in 2020, you know, obviously there were a section of the audience that absolutely loved the song. The numbers yeah. say it all, the kind of views that the song got. But there was also a section that ended up trolling you, saying that do not try to be like Bieber, you know, sing in Hindi. They really yeah. did not want you to sing in English. Why was that <laughs> happening? Why do you think and how do you take that? I'm okay with it, to be honest. You know, with anything that you do, there's always going to be lovers and haters. And uh, I don't think it's, um, uh, you have to see which criticism is the right criticism to actually pay attention to. And as an artist, that's what I did. And yes, I did say I'm taking India global and wanting to make India proud. But what is, what, what, what is, what am I doing if I'm not actually taking Hindi global? And that's something that really stayed with me. And while I was doing English songs, I always wanted to do Hindi songs on a global international level. And uh, here I am doing an, a Hindi verse on an Ed Sheen song and uh, that is as global as Hindi can get. So uh, for me, uh, there are, I, I've always wanted to sing in English. Uh, so when I put those songs out, yes, I did expect a few people to be like, okay, no, we don't want to see you or hear you in this way. But that's fine. You know, you win audiences over a period of time by doing what you love. It, it's not going to happen overnight. You can't do something and be like, okay, I'm going to win everyone in the world. It does not work that way. And you really can't no, go absolutely. out there and make everyone happy. Absolutely. You have to do what you what what makes you happy. And that's mm -hmm. that's what made me happy, doing English music. Because it's as a 15-year-old, uh, you know, the Arman who was 15-year-old, he was like, I want to do English pop music. So I was actually living that teenager's dream. And for it to come, uh, you know, come true and on such a big scale, um, I was over the moon. So I would not let any any of the negativity pull me down or make me feel like uh, I'm doing something wrong. But yes, I did feel that as an Indian, as a Hindi singer, as a multilingual singer, it was important for me to take Hindi global as well, along with whatever I'm doing in English pop music, which is why this is such a beautiful collaboration uh, with the biggest artist in the world. Ed Sheeran is the number one artist in the world uh, as we speak. And his voice, his his songs, his right. songwriting is really something that everyone is paying attention to. And if I'm singing a Hindi verse on that and the whole world is paying attention to that, I think it's a huge moment for Indian music and Hindi music. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I would actually turn the, the audience's attention to a 2014 song, What Love Is, uh, your first English song that you've done. But before I go to that, your single, next you've to done your leading research. both the top thriller, US <laughs> and top global charts, that's also something that we have to talk about. Yes, What Love Is is where it actually began. And uh, there was a song called Love You Till The End in the movie Jai Ho, uh, which was also in English, but then we converted it to Hindi. Mm. Uh, but I would say the actual real, real pop, English pop music that I've always wanted to do and uh, that I felt like this is the time that I want to present this to the world was Control. And I think um, it was it was such a beautiful time when that happened. Right. Um, it was in, uh, uh, in 2018, 2019, I went to Los Angeles and I started working on my uh, English material, English songs, and I made Control on one of those trips. And I shot the video for it. And as soon as I landed, the pandemic happened and all of us were at home. And I was really fixed mm. as to, wait, I have this really big global song. Um, it's in English. It's something that I've not done before. It's, it's a big release, but how am I going to promote this? Because I'm not going to be going anywhere uh, physically and promoting this. And during that time, I was also featured on Times Square, New York with Control. So. I, and I, I had just yes. landed from New York. Yes. I had just landed from New York. I was like, wait, I could have just stayed a few days there, but I would have been locked, locked down there in New York. So many things were going on. Control was my biggest song and everyone was at home. So I was like, wait, I mean, everyone's going to actually want to listen to new music and see content. So I, I thought of it in a very different way. I feel like that was a beautiful time because, you know, while everything was really, really dark and negative, uh, I felt like this song, this uh, um, this step that I'd mm. taken was a ray of light, a ray of hope for Indian music, Indian musician, musicians in general. And I saw it as that. I, I think it's all about how you take things. Um, I could have been sad about like, oh, I have this big collab, a big song coming out, big international record and be like, oh, but, but you know, it's it's pandemic time and everyone's at home. But 
I took it really positively at that point of time, and it mm. became one of my biggest singles um, till date. A lot of people. uh keep telling me that you know control is what made me an arman malik fan and i'm like wait you didn't uh, you, you didn't hear boldona zara or mai rahu ya na rahu and all those songs and they were like no i heard control first and i became an arman malik fan after that so yes there is a section wow. and an audience oh, really that that became a fan of mine after yeah. i started doing these pop songs so i mean uh, like you said you can't win them all but you can definitely win new new fans and new listeners Absolutely, and talking about international collaborations, you did one more before Ed Sheeran. That was, of course, the very, very ambitious project Echo. That also worked wonders. Of course, you collaborating with not just a K-pop star, but also uh, an indie pop star. We're talking about Eric Nam when it comes to K-pop, and also, uh, you know, American producer Kashmir. So that is something that also happened. So you have kept on with your, uh, you know, collaborations in place while you, you know, obviously were singing the popular Hindi. the film numbers also for me as an artist i've always been someone who doesn't like to be boxed up in one one kind of genre or music and ever since the beginning people have known me uh, you know as a bollywood playback singer and for me as an identity as a singer as a songwriter i knew i was so much more than just singing for movies or just doing playback singing yes that is a big part of my identity and a lot of people know arman malik through bollywood songs and i would never want to change that because that's how they got to know me but i wanted to introduce people to this new side of mine that i it's not actually not new it was something that was all, always inside of me but for people it was new and i was introducing it to them for the very first time so i mean it it's it's crazy how i've been able to do bollywood music i've been able to do non film music in hindi and other languages and also do my pop stuff and collaborations and a lot of it happened during the pandemic in the last 2 to 3 years um i have done so many songs across languages and collaborations i feel like i've been my most productive during this time and uh i feel like you know nothing can stop you if you have your your you know i set on that one dream that you really want to accomplish and that is that's the person that i have been i've been very oh, driven absolutely i have been i've had these lofty dreams in 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 my eyes uh and uh literally i go to bed and i'm like okay what's this next dream that i want to dream about and how can i achieve achieve that or work towards that that is literally what i'm obsessing over every day and i think that's why i've been i've, I've been blessed by god by everyone around me that i've gotten these opportunities and i've been able to deliver them in the best possible way um i believe in manifestation and that's what i do every day and i really work hard towards each of these songs that i do in different languages for me when when a south indian song like butta bomma not only became a regional national hit it became an international hit i was really proud because yeah. that's something i've always wanted i've always wanted you know a song which is uh you know from the south industry because i've been singing there for a very long time to kind of pop off and uh, and just become a you know a national and a global hit a lot of people come up to me and say that we don't un- really understand the lyrics but i love the song and that's what i want to do i want listeners to listen to songs for mm. just them being songs whichever language they are in You know, I'm very good. You mentioned Buta Baba because I was going to come to it, and of course, starring Alu Arjun, that also added. Uh, that was another feather in the cap. Of course, people. Oh, totally. uh, w- that song was a rage. It was the most viral hit. uh you know that you have probably sung and also popular on tiktoks and what what is happening with ali zafar with his uh, song uh, <laughs> uh you know right now what we are seeing on instagram and social media is something much more that happened with buda bama so that is also something that you have associated with but, but as a singer and as an artist what do you veer towards like you said that you don't want to be cast in in a certain shell or a genre but there must be a certain kind of uh, uh, or a style of singing that probably you started out with that you always uh, want to be associated with what was that um i actually a lot of people the thing is you know when when you do a song and it becomes very successful people love to make you sing hundreds of those and that's when people start looking at you in a very different manner um me as a singer i started you know in the industry and i did a lot of romantic songs and they became really big hits so people thought of me as the love love song singer or the romantic singer but i always had this pop side inside of me so if i would say that the kind of sound and the songs that really represent the musicality inside of me i would say it's songs like control songs like echo um 
two step is a very very different genre because i kind of like rapped and sang my part it's something very very different from what i usually do which is what i love about ed sheeran he is he's a musical chameleon and he does not just do one kind of music he does all sorts of genres and that's something that i've always wanted to do uh you know like i've the, like the phrase musical chameleon that's interesting <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's for me i want to challenge myself it's i'm not satisfied with where i am or what i'm doing i always want to i want that another goal to chase and that's that's the kind of person i've always been and for me i don't like getting comfortable with one genre as long as my musicality is being tested and i'm under pressure to do something really different and new that's what keeps me going as an artist so i cannot be comfortable and complacent that's just not the way i am but yes if i have to say that there's a genre that i really feel defines me that would be pop and r&b that's that's the true genre inside of me and uh something that i enjoy singing vocally um is definitely ballads and romantic songs which is why you uh there was a song called you which i released earlier this year which is an out and out romantic song in english yes. i did control yes. i did echo i did the experimentation that people thought was very different but then i did this one song that people actually identify with with my voice in hindi and that has been a huge success as well so yeah i mean i want to do stuff that i really believe in i also have to do the stuff that people really you know think of you know like okay this is what we know arman for he's got to do a little more of romantic ballads and stuff so i throw and sprinkle a bit of these here and there but i really enjoy making pop and r&b songs and i do enjoy singing love and ballads Okay. Okay. So I'll I'll throw this uh, to you now, Arman. Uh, if I if I actually put you in a spot and ask you for a three song medley of the genres that you delve in, what is your go to? What would and how would you actually go ahead and obviously singing because without singing, तो हम ऐसे जाने नहीं दे सकते ना आपको. Okay. Um... बुटबमा बुटबमा नन सुटू कुंटी वे जिंदगी के अटबमई जंट कटू कुंटी वे guess i'm under your control and i can't take it anymore we should make it personal why can't you just close the door give me who hero tera ha main hu hero tera ha Well, beautiful. That's interestingly done. That's really, really nice. Uh, we talk about the Hindi film industry. Of course, it started with what Bum Bum Bole, uh, you know, in Tare Zami Par. How did that happen? If if I actually take you a little bit down the memory lane and you know get our audience a little brush with the memory that they'd love to know, how did this happen? Um. So. Amir Sir and uh, Shankar Hasan Loy were uh, auditioning different uh, child singers. Uh, for bam bam bole and there was a huge audition that was held in in mm. the studio itself and uh, a lot of the industry child singers i was already in the circuit of being a child singer doing voice overs uh, for ads being a jingle singer as a child so um i was one of those you know children already in the industry doing those uh, you know singing bits and voice over bits so we were all called together for an audition and uh, a few lines of the mukhda were given as as like the audition script or piece or whatever and uh, we sang we sang that uh, uh, you know back and whoever they felt were really strong they selected those and i was one of those kids so there were three to four kids that sang uh, bam bam bole together and a, a lot of them are still my friends and very close to me all of us kind of like started singing together and uh, amir sir was in the studio while we recorded he was he's very involved in the music making process and every process of his movie hmm. so when we were recording he was uh, you know actually explaining what the scene was about and what exactly he was wanting from us in terms of our expression and the way we were delivering the song so it was beautiful and there was also shan sir in the room because he's he sung like the main uh, you know main parts and obviously the children were supporting uh and singing the chorus lines so it was a beautiful it was a celebration actually in the studio all amazing musicians together and that was my uh you know first track for a bollywood movie and then there was mere buddy from bhutnak uh, which was uh you know a song that had amit sir rapping and singing with me and um that was a beautiful yeah. moment because when yeah. i went to record that song uh it was uh, amit sir's birthday 
and i still have i have the scrapbook from that time where i had clicked oh. a picture and put put into that scrapbook and he he actually signed that for me and stuff so I, it's very fresh these memories still and uh, that's how it began for me i started singing for these bollywood movies and then obviously i did my 10th standard and and education happened in between and then i came back again and started doing um you know my i i focused on my non film album which was arman released in 2014 and uh somewhere around the same time some songs of that album uh you know were uh, heard by salman sir and then he loved those songs and he put it in jai ho and bollywood playback singing career as an adult playback singer started so one thing led to another i mean there's a huge journey it started with being a voice over artist and a jingle singer to singing for children's movies then singing for uh, jai ho which was my first you know playback for a, a you know big star star a movie and then one thing led to another i sang songs like main hu hero tera tumhe apna banane ka uh, wajah tum ho and um main rohi and aru and then it just went on and on and here i am talking to you <laughs> of course and you're talking to me and you just mentioned these beautiful beautiful songs before i let you go and again i'm sorry for demanding uh, so many songs from you but if it is arman malik on uh, the broadcast with me how can i not have you sing what are the three most popular songs that people re uh, request to view uh, from the hindi film industry three most popular arman malik numbers what are those if you could just uh, sing those for us uh, before we call it a day bol do na zara दिल में जो है छिपा मैं किसी से कहूंगा नहीं बोल दो नजरा दिल में जो है छिपा मैं किसी से कहूंगा नहीं मैं रहूं या ना रहूं तुम मुझ में कहीं बाकी रहना मुझे नींद आई जो आखिरी तुम खाबों में आते रहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना जुदा हम हो गए माना मगर ये जान लो जाना कभी मैं याद आऊ तो चले आना चले आना तुम्हें मैं भूल जाऊंगा ये बात दिल में ना लाना कभी मैं याद आऊ तो चले आना चले आना Well thank you so much Arman this was beautiful it was lovely talking to you and this was such a mellifluous interview and all because of you rendering it all musical and mellifluous thank you so much for doing this conversation with me thank you so much thanks for having me lots of love